Hello once again, many thanks for joining us in another exciting session as we endeavor to empower and inspire the next generation of African entrepreneurs. My name is Victor Tieno, the Managing Director of FIFA Consult, an organization that was born out of my passion for the African entrepreneur. There are many cases of African entrepreneurs going into business and it literally feels like you are swimming in mud. A lot of effort but little to show for it. I believe this, this may be attributed to many investing in supermarket kind of a business model where you buy product cheaply instances from China or India and sell to Kenya at a markup. Today we are going to explore the top two sectors that Kenyan or even African entrepreneurs in general can invest that has potential to transform your life and the continent at large. First is agriculture. Kenya is the fourth largest economy in sub-Saharan -Sub Africa. More than 60% of people in Kenya live below the poverty, poverty line a situation that mirrors the state of most African uh, countries. The agricultural sector is the backbone of Kenya's economy and economic development is, in, is dependent on agricultural development and improvement. Main staple food in Kenya is maize which accounts for about 65% of total staple food and 36% of total food uh, caloric intake. Kenya is the largest food and agricultural product importer in East, in East Africa with a population of 40 million. An average Kenya consumes 88 kilograms of maize uh, products per year. With an ever-growing population, demand for food is bound to increase, hence the need for entrepreneurs to invest in primary food production in agriculture together with value addition. You don't have to have huge trucks of land to do agriculture. Start small with a kitchen, uh, kitchen garden or keeping chicken for both eggs and meat supply, which you can supply to your local shop or sell to your neighbor or workmate. Establish a small, a small fishing business having a small pond on the piece of land you have with your, with your charmer or saving group. You can sell the fish raw or process and sell. Remember that overfishing taking place in most of our rivers and lakes, China has seized the opportunity to export fish into many African countries. Second sector is manufacturing. Africa has been touted as the next business frontier. Kenya, just like any other African, African country, must take control of their own destiny in order to improve its infrastructure and its balance of payment. For them to do, to do this, they must exploit its vast natural uh, resources. Africa has vast amount of natural resources such as diamond, gold, iron, cobalt, uranium, uh, copper, you name it. Much of its natural resources are undiscovered or barely harnessed. While still, most African uh, countries export their natural resources raw and often buy the finished products from Western countries at a premium. To put it into context, 30% of China's GDP came from manufacturing. This is according to the World Bank. By comparison, Nigeria shares, uh, Nigeria shares stood at just 9, 9%, Kenya 12%, Zambia 8%. Experts estimate Africa's population to be in the region of 2.5 billion people by 2050. This, coupled with a rising middle class, creates a big demand for consumables and a great need for employment opportunities. Manufacturing does not necessarily mean setting up a big go-down and big ticket equipment. You can start small by manufacturing small items that are currently being imported from countries like, such as China, India and the likes. Things like fruit puree, tomato sauce, toothpicks, cutlery, industrial dye and many more. They may seem small, but that is how countries such as India have grown their light manufacturing cottage industries. In, in case you are experiencing challenges in setting up or running your business in agriculture or manufacture, manufacturing and would want some assistance, be sure to contact us through our email or social media pages. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel as we endeavor to inspire and empower the next generation of African entrepreneurs. I was your host, Victor Tieno. Until next time, God bless.